Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 52 of Isolate, Meditate, Create. My name is Jessica Lynn Johnson. I'm the founder and CEO of Soaring Solo, uh, which is a company dedicated to the direction and development of one person plays. So welcome to this experience. Um, I'm doing Isolate, Meditate, Create every day during stay at home, during quarantine. Um, just to provide a space for us to connect with one another and to connect to our own sense of creativity and have a little bit of self-care every day to just start off our day. Um, please make sure that you have something nearby you um, to write with and write on. Um, when we are done meditating, we're going to jump into writing. So go ahead and find a comfortable seated position and just close your eyes. And just start getting in touch with your breath. Just allowing everything to slow way down. And just do your best to release whatever it is that you're holding on to any stress or tension or personal dramas. Oh, just exhale those things on your out breath. Just imagine that with every breath in, you are filling your body with warm and nourishing light. And just notice your thoughts, but try not to attach to any of them. Let them just pass through and float on by. And do your best to just create a blank canvas, a clean slate, where anything and everything is possible. And just do a body scan from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Notice where you might be carrying any tension or discomfort or pain, where you might be clenching your muscles. And just breathe into those places. Just further relax and release. Allow your shoulders to drop down and your facial muscles to relax. Feel the support of the chair beneath you or the ground beneath you. Feel the support of everyone in this Zoom call. Feel my support for you and your creativity. And most importantly, feel your own support. And just imagine that with every in-breath, you are breathing in things that serve you and fill your cup. Optimism, hope, love, joy, laughter, kindness, patience, acceptance, 
safety, abundance. And imagine that on your out breath, you are releasing those things that do not serve you, those things that limit your joy or bring you down. Releasing anxiety, pessimism, negativity, fear, paranoia, jealousy, bitterness, whatever it is you need to release. Release that on your out breath. And just continuing this cycle of breathing in what serves you and exhaling what does not. And imagine that with your breath, you are starting to transform it. And that now on your out breath, you are able to give back to the world, whatever it is that you have to offer. So breathing in what serves you. And then on your out breath, you are returning kindness and love, generosity, acceptance, abundance, laughter, curiosity, whatever it is that you can return to the world. And just letting your breath reflect a cycle of giving and receiving. And in this next moment, I'm going to guide you through a visualization. And I just ask that you trust whatever comes up for you. You go on this journey. Be as uncensored and free as you can, allowing your intuition, your imagination, and your creativity to guide you. I want you to call to mind a do-over, a situation where you wish you had a do-over. You would do it differently, maybe say something differently or not say something you said, take an action or not take an action. Just call to mind a do-over from any time in your life, something that if you could do it again, you, you might do it a little differently. And even if you don't believe in regret, just go on this journey and see what you discover if you imagine what a do-over might look like. And who is involved in this do-over? Who are the people or the person that's involved in this situation you would play out a little bit differently? Who are the characters involved? And when did this take place? Do you remember how old you were, what year it was? What season of the year it was? And just let yourself recall how it all played out, what actually happened, and where was the moment where you might choose differently now.
And just imagine for a moment, if in that moment, when you could do it differently, what would that have looked like? What would it have looked like to make a different choice? And how might things be different now? Do you imagine if you've made a different choice? How would things have played out differently in your life from that moment until now? How would your course have been different? Or do you think that things would have turned out exactly the same no matter what you chose? When you think about that situation, is there anything available to you now in this moment that might still help you have a do-over with regard to that situation? Is there any available solution right now, action you could take, thing that you could say that might still smooth out that situation or let it play out differently now? Is there a miracle available to you now or any sort of solution? Or do you believe that that ship has completely sailed? And are you even interested in taking any further action or are you just going to let it be? And just take another moment to reflect on this situation and see what insights or lessons or gifts or feelings are available to you when you take it in. Just be in this for another moment. Taking another deep breath in. And on your exhale, slowly letting all of that go and opening your eyes. Coming back to this present moment. And please go ahead and reach for whatever it is that you have to write with and write on. And I'm gonna set my timer for eight minutes. And I just ask that you um, be as uncensored as you can and allow yourself the grace of a first draft and just write whatever, whatever comes up for you. Maybe you want to write the fantasy scenario of how things would have played out differently. Um, maybe you just want to recall exactly how it played out and your feelings about that. Um, maybe you want to write a piece of poetry or song lyrics or a scene between you and the other person or people. Whatever it is, um, just let yourself express and be very free. I'll let you know when your eight minutes is up. And if you have any questions for me, please put them in the chat.
have a little over four and a half minutes. I'm just under a minute left. Okay, please wrap up your writing. Hopefully you got something meaningful out of that. 
Um, and I, as I always say, please transcribe what you've written. If you put it into a journal or um, scrap paper or something like that, take some time to transcribe it and, and put it into a document on your computer so that it is safe and protected somewhere in case you want to turn it into something else later. And especially if you're creating a solo show out of this material. Um, and I would encourage you to start reading through everything that you've been writing through this experience. Um, it's been 52 days, so the odds are good that you have a lot of really awesome material to choose from and to start looking for um, a dramatic question in, main characters, main themes, um, things like that. So um, start to read that and see what you find. And if you missed any of the last 52 days, you can go onto my YouTube channel, Jessica Lynn Johnson, Soaring Solo Artist, LLC, and all of my videos are uploaded there the same day that I create them, um, as well as some bonus videos about how to create your own solo show. So definitely check out my YouTube channel and please feel free to, to share this link with other people. I think a lot of people are going stir crazy right now. Um, and have been for quite some time. So if you think this experience would help them, then I, um, I want you to feel free to share this Zoom link with them and all the information so they can join us every morning. Um, and as you'll see in the chat, I put several different announcements. Um, we've got a lot of great stuff coming up um, this coming Friday night, especially if you wrote stuff in this, in this experience that you want the chance to share and, and read with other solo artists. Um, I've created a, an open mic that is strictly for solo artists, um, and it's called Snacks. We had had one previous in person before all of this happened, and so I'm resuming it again, but on Zoom. So that's happening this coming Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And again, it's just for solo artists. Um, it will be first come, first serve. Sign up will begin 10 minutes before 6. So at 5.50, I'm going to open the Zoom and you can hop on and raise your virtual hand and I will go in the order of hands raised and see as many people as I can up until 8.30. Um, so it's going to be a really wonderful night. And I have a handful of pre-selected curated soaring, uh, soaring solo artists who will be sharing throughout the evening as well, but there's still plenty of open, open slots or first come first serve. Uh, you don't have to be memorized with your piece. Um, it's gonna be casual and just uh, supportive and fun. So the uh, donation for that is $5. You can email me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com if you'd like to participate either as an audience member or as a performer. Um, I think I already said it, but six minutes or less is how long the pieces can be. Um, and that will be strict six minutes. I will have to mute people at six minutes so that I can be fair and see as many people as possible. Um, second thing is my free class dates are Saturday, May 16th and May 30th this month. Um, so that's happening at 10 a.m. Pacific time. You can RSVP on my website, jessicalynnjohnson.com. Um, you don't have to have anything prepared for my class. I will always guide you through a writing exercise, but that is another opportunity if you want to bring in things that you've written that are solo theater. Um, I try to see as many people as I can during my free class as well. And then next, um, this Saturday afternoon, so May 16th, um, noon to two, I am doing the sixth installment of my, my webinar series, the Soaring Solo Spotlight series. And this time we're going to focus on how to handle controversy, character creation, and crowdfunding. Um, my special guest is Heather Dowling, who is a um, critically acclaimed and award-winning solo artist. She's um, completed two solo shows, which are both truly exceptional and um, have had a very profitable and awesome lives, creative lives. So we've got a lot to share on this because um, I think a lot of us do have topics that we have strong opinions about or... Um, things we're afraid to talk about from stage and that we might be afraid of the controversy surrounding what we're going to talk about, even if it's just in our interpersonal lives. Um, so we're going to really talk about that as well as um, character creation, since that is a specialty of, of Heather's and mine. And so we're going to dive into some of the solo theater technique around that because it is unique to any other type of acting um, when you're playing all of the characters yourself. It's a different beast. So we're going to get into that as well. And then um, crowdfunding. Um, Heather raised over $30,000 in one of her creative endeavors um, by crowdfunding. So this is a woman who, who knows how to put together a, a budget and a plan that is, and, and, and a strong ask. And I've also done crowdfunding as well as a board member for the Los Angeles Women's Theater Festival. So we're both going to kind of bring our insight to the table on, on how we approach that and um, share those things. So those are the three main topics, but we'll certainly be delving into other things as well. It's going to be very informative 
uh, $30 suggested donation, but pay what you can will be honored. Again, that's noon to two this coming Saturday. So email me at uh, soaringsoloartist at gmail.com to RSVP. Um, and then last but not least, if you would like to coach with me in any regard, either one-on-one -on -one or in power pair sessions with another solo artist or in small group sessions with up to six solo artists, everything's taking place on Zoom. Um, you can email me about that as well for my rates and availability and see if it might be a good fit for you, even if you're just curious about um, creating a solo show. Um, I will meet you where you're at with that. Um, so other than that, I look very forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning, same time, same place.